Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Technofiber T-Fi ISO 315. Technofiber keeps much of the same great controllable power from the previous version of this racket, but adds in a more consistent feeling string bed. Quick to swing and easy to target with, this racket features a 98 square inch head, 11.6 ounce strum weight, 16 by 19 string pattern, and 22.5 millimeter beam. New Isoflex technology provides a large sweet spot and updated responsive feel. This is a perfect racket for players looking for a speedy, spin-friendly player's frame. This racket possesses a quality that I'm always looking for in rackets that I've tested, which is controllable power, and I seem to gravitate even more to these rackets lately, the 90 square, 98 square inch controllable power. From very first hit, the, you, the word I used with this play test was solid. The racket feels super solid without being stiff and uncomfortable, but I felt really connected to my shots no matter where I was hitting in the string bed. It's explosively fast for someone like me who tends to play with rackets with a heftier swing weight, but I appreciated that it wasn't too fast and I still felt really dialed in with my shots off the ground. Um, I always am looking for a little bit more stability and I did notice that in this racket, but at night it held up against the hardest of hitters and on serves I felt really dialed in with my targeting. So I definitely could see myself adding a little bit of weight to just get a little more stability and maybe bump that swing weight up just a tiny bit, but I absolutely appreciate the feel and controllable power from this racket. When it comes to testing rackets, uh, feel's a big part of what I base my judgment on. And I think with this update to the T-Fight 315, um, really good improvement in the feel. Um, on contact, it's nice and firm, feels very, very solid, um, but also it gives me a bit more response and feel for the ball than previous versions of T-Fight. I've tried a lot of the older ones going way back to like VO2 Max, Dynacore, even the previous RS, and I think it's just gradually gotten better feel um, with the update. So I really like this racket. I'm also a big fan of the TF40 and hitting this side by side, both of the 315s. It's really hard for me to decide which one I like better, but I definitely notice with this firmer layup of graphite, um, it feels a little bit more stable on contact. So up at net, maybe just a little less twisting. And from the baseline, I just really feel like the ball jumps off with good pace. It's not crazy powerful, but it's got that nice plow through and just uh, the ball just really comes off nice and nice and hot off the string bed. But the open pattern here is what uh, I really like, especially compared to like the 305 version of this racket, which I thought had a low launch angle. This one really easy to create the angles and get a lot of spin on serve and from the baseline. So just a really, really nice stick here and I'm definitely gonna keep this one in my bag. This was a fun racket to get out on the court with. I found I could be really creative with it and I think some of the specs really came together to enhance that creativity for me. I like the way the racket came around my body. It felt super fast and that enabled me to tap into good spin. I think there's plenty of grip from the string bed when you got it strung up with your favorite co-poly as well to help generate that spin. And yet the racket also feels solid and it has some plow through to it too. So for it, the way it swings, uh, it's a very fast feeling racket and I was surprised at how much pop and plow through I was getting on my shots from this racket and so I could drive the ball deep or I could roll a quick angle and really decide last second which one of those types of shots I was gonna hit. And I think that really led to some creative play from me with this racket. Up at net, again, it felt fast and easy to maneuver in my hand, nice and solid on the impact. So a, a rare combination there, but a good one. And that gave me enough punch to put the ball away deep. Or again, I could crest a nice little angle volley or drop volley and have some fun with my shot making. On serve, good access to pace and spin. So a uh, bit of a love fest from me on this one on serve, to be honest with you, I just really found good accuracy on both my first and second serve. So I was getting good pace, good spin, and being pretty consistent as well. So a uh, fun play test for me. Technofiber's definitely making some of the best feeling frames I've played with so far. The 305 series has been among my favorite frames of all time. The 315, a nice step up in mass based power, getting a little bit, a uh, couple of extra grams of power there, and a sneaky source of power instead of having a tight pattern, you've got a 1619. And overall, the swing weight did bump up a little bit, 324 from 321 to the prior ISO version. They are very similar. I appreciated the extra stability that I had towards the tip of the frame. Overall, super versatile. I did have a favorite shot with this racket. It was definitely grinding from the baseline. That's where I spend most of my time playing tennis. And this racket was just a ground stroke masterpiece. So overall, a very versatile all court racket. Really enjoyed it. Definitely worth a try. If you like any of these Technofiber frames, it's top notch. 
We play tested this racket with several different string setups, but for this review, we have it with Technofiber Razor Code at 52 pounds. For more information about this racket and many others, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.